You know, they say you can't judge a book by its cover, nor can you judge a bourbon by its bottle. Well, we're going to do just that. Tonight, my 10 best whiskey bottle designs. Let's get started. Number 10 on my list of my favorite bottle designs is actually kind of an unusual one. Jim Beam Repeal Batch. Uh, this was a limited series. They're actually calling it a legacy bottle. And I think it, they took a lot of the designs of the bottle and more importantly, the print that was on the bottle from the 19, uh, what was it? Probably 33. Uh, Prohibition ended in 1933. And a lot of companies came back out with bourbons to celebrate that uh, revival of uh, whiskey and bourbon. And Jim Beam was no different. They came out with a uh, repeal batch. And this is the 85th anniversary. And I'll show you uh, on the screen uh, what close up what this looks like. But what's always interesting to me about this bottle was the not only the design of the glass, which I thought was very kind of 1920s, kind of 1930s-ish, but the fonts they used in the labels, the colors, and just all about making this look like it was directly from 1933. And they talk about that this was an 85th anniversary of the Prohibition's repeal, and that James B. Beam and his family rebuilt the distillery in just 120 days. So, for our bottom shelf, our budget bourbon, whatever you want to call it, the Jim Beam repeal batch is number 10. Well, I don't think there's anybody on the bourbon planet that won't recognize a Four Roses bottle when you see it. It's a unique design in the fact that it's square at the top, but round at the bottom. And it has that four roses embellished design or embossed design on it. And the labeling is very simple, straightforward, and unique. So this made it into the top 10 because I can recognize a Four Roses bottle from across the way. And what they've done in putting a very well-renowned bourbon into bottles that, I don't know when they last change it, but every Four Roses bottle I see, whether it's the single barrel, the single barrel barrel proof, uh, are all in the same bottle. Now, when you get to the small batch and the select small batch, they're in a wider bottle. But this bottle, to me, was unique enough and special enough. And they even give you a very nice wood topper. And it looks to me like natural cork. Very nice design. And it made it as my number nine favorite bottle design. Well, number eight might kind of like befuddle people, like, what's so special about New Riff? I mean, it kind of looks like a wine bottle, and it uh, looks like it's painted black, but a closer look at it will actually surprise you. It's not just painted black. It's basically, it starts off black, and it has a gradient uh, cover to it, where it actually gets into kind of a smoky color, and we'll show you that on the screen. And it has some very nice embossings at the bottom, as well as a clear portion on the very bottom. And they cap that off with a nice wood cork. And it is synthetic, but they're staying with the black because you could see that through the bottle and they don't want it to interrupt the black to the smoke to the clear. This bottle looks good on any shelf, and a lot of the new Rip bottles, they've kept that design going regardless of what they're putting in it. And I just think it's a very modern, very futuristic design, and it's number eight on my list. 
Well, number seven on my list is uh, the company that basically produces my favorite bottled and bond, and that is the Bardstown Bourbon Company. And you can always recognize a Bardstown bottle. Uh, I've never seen any other shape. And what distinguishes one Bardstown from the other is the wrapper. The wrappers will be different color and obviously different labeling. The metallic foil and the metallic stopper uh, are different from bottle to bottle. And what most people not, may not realize is on the back of every Bardstown bottle, there is a kind of an applique, uh, a transfer. A lot of them seem to be of nature, and then some of them are kind of like unusual designs. But what makes this unique is when you hold it up to the light, and we're going to show you on the screen there, how that beautiful design in the back comes through. So if you've got a bar with any kind of backlighting, these Bardstown bottles are something you're going to want on your bar. And because they are modern, almost ultra-modern, they made my list to number seven of my favorite whiskey bottle designs. Chattanooga Whiskey out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. This bottle is always uh, kind of made me laugh because when I first looked at it, I thought like, that looks like a moonshine bottle or a moonshine jug. And I was always amazed how they got, they took cork, which is a pretty fragile substance, and they made it into a topper. Just not a cork that just plunges into it. This cork has got shape. Natural cork. It's actually there's a little piece peeling off there. And they actually stamped the Chattanooga Whiskey Company on the top of it and made that your stopper. And that is in any Chattanooga Whiskey bottle you find, you're going to find this stopper in this unique kind of squished down design. It reminds me of, of something from the uh, 20s or 30s and an embossed labeling on it. And of course, they uh, do a good job with their labeling. Uh, it's a very nice label. It's always colorful. It's always informative. And it made my list as number six of the best whiskey bottle designs. Speaking of another bottle that's got a cork stopper would be your standard issue Bib and Tucker six year. And this cork is really nothing special. It's just, it's really just a cork put into the top of the bottle and it fits perfectly. But it's the design, it's the embossing of the smoke colored bottle that is so unique. There's nothing else like it. Now I happen to like Bib and Tucker. It's one of my favorite daily sippers. I think it's affordable. It's a smooth, delicious bourbon and there's other varieties of it. Now beside it, you're seeing another six-year Bib and Tucker, but this has got a commemorative topper on it. And these toppers are beautiful. It's natural cork. And these things, they weigh a ton. I mean, you could hurt somebody with this thing if you threw it. Now this one is a, uh, an old uh, you know, 1800 style locomotive. And it says in big embossing, Bib and Tucker, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's handcrafted kind of stuff you'd expect from turn of the century, turn of the 20th century, even maybe turn of the 19th century. It's absolutely beautiful. And they have another one. I think this, this was from last year. This year's one actually has a stopper on it that's got a motorcycle racer. And this is the early, early days of motorcycle racing and uh, probably on a, a track inside of a stadium, one of those curved tracks when they used to race across boards, and that's on the 10-year uh, Bib and Tucker. The Bib and Tucker is number five in my whiskey bottle design. Well, number four on my list is what you saw at the beginning of the show, and it's why I'm doing this show at all, because James E. Pepper decided to come out with a decanter series uh, this is their uh, 
uh, barrel proof. Uh, it's currently available in the stores. I have two of them because uh, the bourbon inside is as delicious as the bottle is beautiful. But this decanter series made me think about how beautiful bottles are. And we'll show you on the close up on the screen the kind of cut glass design that they pulled from a bottle that they did back around 1945, just after the war, uh, when they were still producing. They was they went out of business for about 50 years, and of course they've come back recently, and they brought back this 1945 design, which is a beautiful cut glass, and it almost looks like crystal, and the topper is huge. It's natural cork, and the wood furniture in here is finished and cut like it'd be something you'd have in your living room. It's absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of the nicest wood toppers that I have ever seen. And they've incorporated a nice large piece of natural cork on top a beautiful lip that allows you to pour it in either direction. It's a wonderful design. It's a beautiful bottle. And it's number four on my best whiskey bottle designs. Well, you can't go into any bottle shop without seeing Jack Daniels, at least not in the Southeast. And their bottle design for their single barrel select, and that also goes for their barrel proof, their, uh, their gold labels, and their twice barreled. And I know, I sometimes miss the twice barreled on the shelf. But I didn't miss this one when I bought it. And what intrigued me was such a beautiful design the ribbing of the neck, how bold and squarish the bottle comes out and actually gets smaller as it gets to the bottom. It's There's nothing else like it. And then you've got a nice Jack Daniels embossing on the top and a very nice topper with a natural cork. And it actually says on the top it is a single barrel, hand-selected Jack Daniels. Beautiful bottle, beautiful design. I love what they did with the labels. And regardless of whether it's the black label or the gold label, this is a bottle design that you want to have. And really, I think, a whiskey that you want to have. So, number three on my list, the Jack Daniels Single Barrel. And I didn't miss this one. Well, you can't have a list about bottles without including Blanton Single Barrel, probably the most famous bottle design that I've ever seen, and one that actually sells the bottle ahead of the bourbon. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the Blanton Single Barrel, but let's get real. It's the bottle and the topper that makes it clear off shelves. Now, if you didn't know much about Blanton's, it is a... Uh, Buffalo Trace product, and they pretty much invented the whole concept of single barrel. And I don't know if the, this has always been the bottle design, but the bottles, the labels are hand put on uh, in the Buffalo Trace distillery. The toppers have eight different variations, all of a horse racer in a different part from starting to finishing the race. And at the very bottom of the leg there, each one has a letter that spells out Blanton's. Not everyone knows that. And the, the people that collect Blanton's, they always try to collect all eight of the Blanton's toppers so they can have a complete collection of the Blanton's bottles and those uh, sought after toppers. So um, you just can't exclude Blanton's from being on your list. And a lot of people would say, well, Mike, how, how is that not number one? Because there is a bottle design out there that beats them all. As much as I love the Blanton's bottle, this design tops the cake. You've probably seen it. If you haven't, it's forbidden. No, not you're not being forbidden from seeing it. The bottle is forbidden. It is a, a new uh, bourbon from Marion Eves, a famous distiller and blender. And she started her own company, and uh, there is a couple variations of the Forbidden out there. 
but I believe they're all the same unique bottle. I have never seen a bottle like this. I mean, there are some really good bottle designs out there, but the amount of time and expense and engineering that went into producing glass with all these geometric angles to it is amazing. Uh, they made the bottle as simple as possible without a lot of labels. The label on the front is, I'm not sure if it's, uh, if it's plastic or aluminum or tin, but it looks like metal. And it's embossed like metal. And then there's a little sticker on the bottom that basically, I think they have to put that on there. It basically says the how many milliliters and what the proof is. Past that, the rest of the information is on a, probably a paper label on the top. And then you've got this very fine topper with natural cork again. A very high class wood with an insert with an F facing both directions that indicates forbidden. Now I can tell you that when I empty this bottle, and I've got a few friends that have thought the same thing, when I empty the bottle, I'm going to take this off, take the labels off, and this is going to be an infinity bottle because it's very modern. Uh, it's something that I think would last a long time. It's something you would always have fun uncorking and would make a great addition to any bar or any collector. And that's really what we're talking about here. I'm a collector and a bourbon enthusiast. So uh, the bottle is part of it. It is. What is on my shelf and how it looks on the shelf, it is part of it. I, I admit it. Now, I don't always buy bourbon or very rarely buy bourbon for the bottle. I will tell you that I bought this bottle because I was intrigued about uh, the history behind Mary and Eve's and what she was doing in this new company. And I thought, well, that bottle just kills it for me. That made the decision. What I've heard about her and her abilities and the bottle, as soon as I saw it, I bought it. And it is my favorite bottle design in all of my collection. So we hope you will like this video, comment, and share. And if you have a bottle design that we didn't cover, let us know about it. Because I've got a feeling we'll be doing one of these shows again. And always, never drink and drive. Please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time.